Destiny 2 wasn't just killed, it was actually murdered by the state of the game, but finally our saviour, game director Joe Blackburn, has risen from the ashes to revive this dead game, so is it now time for a positive outlook on Destiny 2? Maybe it's ironic that this relic from the Curse of Osiris era returned in Season of the Deep, given the critical reception to a number of areas of the game in Season 21, mirroring that of the ill-fated make-or-break moment in Destiny's history. But even if it isn't, I reckon you've probably slept on it, and it has some perfect god rolls worth chasing no matter what part of the game you play. Positive Outlook is a 450 RPM void energy precision frame auto rifle and these actually sit in an excellent place in the sandbox. Its solar brother, the craftable Amit, was even one of the top picks in Trials of Osiris recently and these auto rifles have tons of subclass synergy for PvE too. This is one of only a few void auto rifles currently available and drops like candy from the Vanguard Ops playlist or Nightfalls. However, you will be able to focus it using your hard-earned Vanguard Engrams in Season 22, making your personal god roll even more easily obtainable. It has tons of unique perk combos with all your standard perks in the pool, such as Perpetual Motion, Golden Tricorn, Vorpal Weapon and Dragonfly, with plenty of choice for perk combos to suit literally any playstyle. It even comes with a choice of Tap the Trigger, Dynamic Sway Reduction or Zen Moment for PvP connoisseurs, pairing perfectly with Kill Clip for clicking heads. However, it's this combination right here that is going to make you volatile out of your mind in any number of void builds. Ambitious Assassin is always top tier on weapons and it's no different on positive outlook. This will overflow the magazine by up to a maximum of 150% which can give you way over 60 plus rounds in the magazine consistently, especially if you're making use of the main perk that you need to be farming for. You'll always be getting a metric shit ton of multi kills if you manage to bag one with destabilizing rounds. It is arguably the best void perk in the game and paired with the hard hitting nature of this weapon, it's absolutely top tier. Final blows will apply volatile to targets within a 6.5 meter radius and any target that becomes volatile will now do a few things. They'll stay volatile for about 10 seconds and dealing sustained damage to a volatile target will trigger a volatile explosion dealing damage to nearby targets as well as exploding with void energy on final blows again spreading more volatile all over. Arrowhead break along with ricochet rounds are going to do bits for your barrel and magazine options to lessen the bounce intensity whilst adding some extra range and stability on top. Paired with the ever faithful Jafalcons or even an upcoming rework to a certain Void Warlock helmet, this weapon will be a total workhorse in any of your favourite Void setups. Much like the incandescent strident whistle, I'm sure this will take me over a year to actually get, so please rub it in if you've already got this god roll positive outlook. It really is a weapon that I think you should be locking down because of its unique spot in the sandbox and if you want a god tier exotic to pair with it then you can't go wrong with this next build video. 